To be a GM with, with AMM, it's a challenging position because it requires not only knowing P&L and financials, but really being committed to building and challenging, motivating that team. AMF is a great place to work because day in and day out, you're out on the front lines, not only with the team members, but with the guests themselves. How are you guys doing today? How are you today? Hello, Henry, how are you? <laughs> Did you guys sign up for uh, the kids club or the email club at all? We have a lot of different people, different types of backgrounds, different personalities. Uh, if you can manage them successfully at AMF, you could probably do just about anything. So to be a successful GM with AMF, you need to be really hands-on, be able to really dive into each of these departments, get your hands dirty, really gain the respect of your teams. I love coaching my team here at 300 because it's the one time that we actually get to see the benefits as we're speaking to each other, that we develop a relationship. and. There's nothing better than seeing the results also afterwards when you actually see someone executing what you just showed them. Our managers go through what we call the University of Bowling where they learn a lot about the bowling business and their P&Ls and how to actually run their center so we don't throw them out there, just give them the keys to the center and say go run that. We teach them, we give them the tools to run their center. Do you feel like you're running your own business? You get to incorporate some of your own ideas into the place. What it takes to be a successful general manager in AMF as a whole um, is a committed, dedicated, caring person. You have to be a people person and you have to care first.